In this video we will show you how to replace an optical 80% fill sensor, as well as diagnostics on the sending unit on a Roush Cleantech propane auto gas powered vehicle. The 80% fill sensor is an overfill protection device that stops the tank from filling once the maximum level is reached. These procedures are specific to a Ford E-Series van and F-Series truck with a Generation 2 underbody fuel tank with an optical fill sensor. This video can be used as a general reference for other Roush Cleantech propane fuel tanks in conjunction with the model-specific instructions outlined in the vehicle service manual. Please watch the previous video in the series to purge the fuel tank of propane and remove the multivalve, allowing access into the tank. With the multivalve removed, cut the zip ties holding the wiring together to allow more working room. Locate the 80% sensor with the green, blue, black, and brown wires. There is a black sleeve on the circuits leading to the sensor. Follow the wires to locate the position of the sensor in tank. Use a 10mm socket or wrench to loosen the two nuts holding the bracket containing the 80% sensor and sending unit to the tank. Carefully remove the 80% sensor and sending unit assembly from the tank. With the bracket outside of the tank, use a 15mm socket to loosen the attachment nut located on the front of the sensor on the bracket. Remove the nut and rubber o-ring from the sensor. Remove the sensor from the bracket by pulling on the wiring side. Locate all connectors from the sensor and disconnect. Make note of the location of connectors when removing to aid in assembly. Install new sensor connectors in the same location as the removed sensor. Install the rubber o-ring and nut by hand, then tighten to 2 newton meters, using caution not to over-tighten the sensor. While outside of the tank, inspect wiring to the sending unit to ensure it has not become disconnected. Install new zip ties to hold the wiring in place. Install the bracket back into the tank and secure with the 10mm nuts. Before reinstalling the multivalve, perform a bench test on the sending unit. Locate the 6-pin connector on the tank. Using an ohm meter, place the positive probe on the yellow-white wire, pin E, and the negative probe on the black-orange wire, pin F. Measure the resistance across the terminals. With the float in the empty position, the meter should read 180 ohms plus or minus 5. Reach through the access hole and lift the sending unit float. At the top position, it should show 10 ohms plus or minus 5. Check to ensure that all electrical connections are secure. Now you're ready to reinstall the multivalve. 